The new system which is being announced here at ISC is the Venado system, which is uh, be hosted at the Los Alamos National Library, built with our partners from Hewlett Packard. Venado will be the first US-based ARM system with Grace and our Grace Hopper superchips. It'll have 10 exaflops of AI performance and actually quite a bit of memory bandwidth, over 7,700 terabytes of aggregate memory bandwidth in the system. Uh, the goals for the system is to do fundamental open science. Uh, materials, uh, material science, leveraging VASP um, for DFT calculations and uh, developing some of those AI accelerated uh, methods and potentials. For doing the lithography work I talked about prior. Um, also be used to, for energy uh, research, particularly emulating and simulating power grids as a digital twin. Um, and uh, for fusion energy research. We're also super excited they're using this to actually develop uh, uh, unmanned vehicles, which are 5G accelerated drones effectively that can help fight, detect and fight fires. I mentioned fusion energy. Fusion energy is also an excellent candidate for building digital twins. So bringing together the omniverse technology that was talked about this morning, uh, sim native simulation as well as AI assisted simulation, uh, is uh, digital twins are an important part of defining the future of fusion energy. So in one last video I wanted to show you, which is the work being done at ICF uh, at the UK Atomic Energy uh, 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 to actually develop and design their next fusion reactor, both physically as they're building it and a digital twin in parallel. So with one last video, let's show well, what's going on there. United Kingdom's Atomic Energy Authority and University of Manchester are partnering to produce carbon-free, clean power. They're testing NVIDIA Omniverse to accelerate the design and development of a full-scale fusion reactor, a small star held inside a magnetic bottle. Building a digital twin that accurately represents all reactor components, the plasma, and the control and maintenance systems is a massive challenge, one that can benefit greatly from AI and exascale GPU computing. The design of the physical reactor itself involves numerous experts from a variety of domains. With so many moving parts, it's critical to keep scientific, engineering, and design experts and their data in sync at all times. With Omniverse, teams can connect disparate 3D design, engineering, and simulation tools so they can collaborate on a single source of truth. Simulation of the fusion plasma itself is also a grand challenge. Scientists developed Omniverse extensions to ingest data from two simulation software programs. The Monte Carlo Neutronics code GANT4 enables them to simulate neutron transport in the reactor core, which is what carries the energy out of the reactor. And the JORIC plasma simulation code simulates visible light emissions, giving insight into the plasma state. In the future, scientists will use NVIDIA Modulus, an AI physics framework, to further accelerate their simulations. With a physically accurate digital twin of both the reactor and the internal reactions, researchers can work to create AI-based systems to help control and sustain the burning plasma. Maintenance will be performed by robots trained and re-optimized in simulation with large amounts of synthetic data generated in Omniverse. This helps them to perform tasks accurately before being deployed into the real world. In the future, the Omniverse Digital Twin will be synchronized to the physical reactor with real-time streams of sensor data. Researchers will be able to explore hypotheses by first testing in the Digital Twin before deploying changes to the physical reactor, boosting performance, improving predictive maintenance, and reducing downtime. Super cool. And also a great example of how supercomputers are gonna be used um, uh, moving forward. So that's the software, and, uh, and we see both simulation, HPC plus AI, uh, edge com HPC edge, uh, digital twin, and of course quantum computing being an important part of the modern supercomputer. Uh, and NVIDIA is investing in all those areas with their different SDKs, uh, so please do check them out.